you can see, we got the new GMB Pro Max Travel Case. I don't know what it's called. It is called the Max, but it's basically a suitcase that we can pack all of our tools in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it down here, move the camera. We're gonna open this thing up and see what it's all about. I guess I'm gonna sit down or way down low to the ground, but I'm going to open this thing up. This is brand new from DMB Pro. Like I said, guys, it is called the Max Travel Case. And there you guys go. As you guys can see, it is a hard shell case. Obviously way bigger than the backpacks. I'm gonna open it up. It does have wheels that go on the bottom. The idea, guys, obviously you can check this in at the airport, fit a lot more stuff in it. So we're gonna see how big it is, what all's inside. I probably don't need something this big, but for a big trip, I literally am just about gonna be able to pack my whole station in here. So you guys can see super nice quality handles. It does have a key, it looks like, so we can lock this. Nice quality. I did see a badge on here somewhere. Before we open that up, let's find that. Yeah, so we got a super nice quality GMB Pro, basically a metal badge on the front. Nice bump stops on the corners to protect this thing. It does have some rubber feet on the back so you can lay it down and work out of it. And I believe there's gonna be some wheels inside that we can throw on the bottom. Go ahead and unlatch it. Open her up. We'll deal with these in a second, guys. These are basically little bins that we can slide in here. Got some dividers to divide the middle right here. You guys can see. So guys, this is a bag that has a strap. You can carry it over the shoulder, basically the size of a laptop bag. And I do already have one of these. If you guys didn't see the video on this and the mini bag, click the card up above. We're gonna set this to the side too, and we will deal with all this extras in a second. So here's the wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back in here, plug it up, we'll go ahead and put the wheels on, and then we'll inspect what is inside. All right, so I'm gonna see, I think that this is just going to lock on here. Boom, so there's one, there's two. You guys, there's one way that these go. So you can, ah, you can see on the inside of the wheel, there's one way that this goes. When you line it up, just pinch the orange, and there it goes. All right, that's it, off the wheels. Oh. All right, go ahead and set it up. So you guys can see, just like regular luggage, it does have the handle. And I do believe this clutch has a back strap here. We can throw that over and we can travel with it this way. So that is one way to travel with this whole kit. Also, this is made to fit inside. So we're gonna see that here in a second. All right guys, so here's the GMB Pro Max travel kit. You guys can see similar to our standard bag that we have. We have the flap here, scissor pouches, some other pouches for some small, uh, I don't know, maybe combs here. You can put some clippers or some things back here. These are pretty skinny, so. More combs, scissors, razors, things like that would fit in here. This actually looks like, and I'm right, that it comes out. So we can take this whole pouch out, and you guys see it's on the back, and that is what holds it in here. So I am obviously gonna use it as intended, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that in there. And over here, guys, we have these extra pouches. Like I said, these dividers are made. Let me see if I can figure it out. One goes across like this, and one goes in there like that. Here's a little key to lock it, so I can go ahead and throw this on my key ring and have it with me when I travel. We can lock the case, nobody can get in it. So, you guys see, this is made basically to hold each of these bags, or whatever you wanna call it. Probably could put a blow dryer in one. Here's the second one. It fits right there. And then we have two small ones here as well that fold out. Has these little Velcro dividers inside. You guys see, kind of like my camera bag. You put the divider in, and then these will go up top. So maybe for some hair product, different things like that. And while I'm talking about cameras, guys, that's one thing I'm excited about with this. Potentially, I can fit my camera case in here when I go on the road and be able to take my camera with me. So all the inserts, we do have another big insert down here on the bottom. And again, some Velcro dividers so we can put this thing together. And we have a spot down here for that as well. So lots of room, obviously, guys, you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and take all these out. I wanna show you guys, this is probably how I'll be using it. So if you leave it like this, you can actually put the clutch bag inside and take that with you as well. So you'll have the normal storage that comes in the clutch bag. Also this side over here, we can still put some stuff up here, some of the mini uh, little pouches that it comes with or whatever you want. You still have the bottom pouch down here and you guys see we have tons of space. So 
Honestly, I have to just kind of play with it and figure out what I want to put where. It has a ton of room and just kind of have to play around. I probably will use some of these small dividers, but definitely will need this clutch bag in here in order to take all my clippers and stuff. But we can put scissors, combs, all that stuff over here, some product, use the extra trays maybe for, like I said, my camera case, tripod, different things like that. I think my tripod that the camera's on right now would fit right here on this top shelf. Really, you guys know, it's really up to you how you wanna pack these. All the bags are different, so you can pack them however you want. I've pretty much got my own little way down that I pack my bag every trip now that I've been traveling quite a bit, but you guys have seen my other videos and you can pack them however you want. So if you guys haven't seen those videos, Definitely check them out. You guys, this is the clutch bag. I do already have one, but this is absolutely upgraded from the one that I have. So if you guys look in the bottom now, it does have dividers that are basically locked in so they can't move. And the trays are much higher quality than they were before. So I can fit four or five or six clippers right here. I can put some underneath if I need to, or my shavers I usually put underneath. We have pockets up here for scissors and combs, and then I usually put my shave gel, texture powder, no drip, and all of that in here. So the one downfall of using this is that I cannot fit my blow dryer and my Beam XL compressor in there, but obviously if we have this big thing, we can fit it all in the suitcase. And you guys see it does come with a shoulder strap. I'm just gonna leave it in the bag because if I'm gonna use it in there like that, the strap will get in the way. So we're just gonna leave it inside and we can use it later if we need to. All right guys, so you can see here, this is the setup that I would use. Again, clippers in here, got a couple pouches or whatever you wanna call these up here for products and different things. Big one down here, we could probably do the blow dryer and the beam team, some scissors and all that stuff over there. And I think I'm gonna try this thing out on my next trip that I go on. So I'll definitely let you guys know how that goes. I'm wanting to start vlogging a lot of these trips. So hopefully you guys will see this in the future. Alright guys, that is it for the video on the GMB Pro Max travel case. Definitely going to use this on my next trip, so I will let you guys know what I think about it. You guys know so far I have loved the bags that I have. Honestly, I have one custom one that was the original, then he hooked me up with another custom one, and then I have the mini, and then I have the clutch bag. It's hard to decide which one to take. I actually just loaned somebody my mini. So I think the next trip, I'm definitely gonna take this. So guys, they all kind of have their benefits. If you're traveling somewhere, you can take the big bag, not this one, but the big backpack. It's kind of nice because you can fit more in it. If you're flying on the airplane, that bag is definitely gonna have to go above in the overhead compartment. Or if you're like me, I put it in a suitcase and actually check it in. The mini bag is a perfect size to fit under the airplane seat, but the other bags are definitely too big to do that. So depending on your situation, that can kind of determine what bag you need. Obviously guys, this is the big dog, can fit a lot in it, and I can check it at the airport and have all my stuff with me when I get there. So if you guys wanna grab any of these bags that we've talked about, go to gmbpro.com or GMB Pro on Instagram. Guys, I have a discount code. It is 15 off and you guys will get 15% off. So go get them while you can. I think there is quite a bit of stuff in stock right now. These bags are always sold out. So I know a lot of you guys have hit me up trying to get a hold of one. I believe he does have some in stock right now. So head over there quick and grab you one while you can. But anyway, guys, that is it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Smash that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. It helps the channel so much when you guys interact. If you guys aren't subscribed, we're almost to 40K, and then next up is 50K, and I have an absolutely crazy barber bundle I'm gonna be giving away. So if you guys aren't subscribed, now is the time to click that button and subscribe to my channel so that you can get in on the giveaway when we hit 50K. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this case. You guys have all loved some of my other bags. I'm excited to have this, and we'll see how it does in the future. Anyway guys, I appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.